Hey fellow Star Wars citizens, Scrapchat here. Um, in today's, one of today's episodes, I'm going to try and get two done today. I want to do one on uh, rock mining also. But um, I'm, I'm going to be uh, testing out a uh, new transportation vehicle for getting to, um, uh, getting to bunkers. So I'm, I'm completing my uh, security contractor evaluation over on Calliope up around Microtech. And so, anyway, that's that's the setup for it. Um, let's go. Let's go see what my new little vehicle looks like. Oh yeah, I'm in my M uh, my uh, my uh, yeah my Mercury Star Runner, and I already got the vehicle loaded up in the cargo area. We're parked approximately uh, two kilometers from the bunker, so we do not get shot at, hopefully. All right, here we go. I'm going to try a mule, see what that does. I really wish I could carry uh, the one SCU box like it, it kind of should, right back here. When uh, 3.18 comes out, I'm pretty sure that's what's supposed to happen, which will be awesome. If this thing actually can get me there, I would take this in a heartbeat because it is cool. I was riding, I was had to drive it into, uh, had to drive it obviously into the uh, MSR. And um, I love how it turns, it just turns on a dime. You don't have to, like, I think I could probably just turn it around in here without having to back out. Let me get started. Okay. Um, so I've heard people actually turn it inside a cutlass black. So let's see what this see if I can turn it around here. That is awesome. Oops, oops, oops. Okay. Yeah, that'll have to do. That's pretty cool. And also, I like the fact that the lights aren't... The, the Ursa, when I had the Ursa out, and I had the lights on, the rear tail lights were so bright, it was, like, annoying, you know? So, let's see... Well, Yay, Drake. All right. And which way to the bunker? Awesome. Straight ahead. I actually have never driven this more than maybe 100 feet. So, oh, you know what? Shoot. I mean, there's no way here, but I really should close the... Close up the MSR. Earlier, I had a 30k, and I was I wanted to do was my original mission with the mule in the MSR. I've been trying to beat the Ghost Hollow mission, and I don't know if you've seen my past attempts. Uh, the first time I just went on foot, that didn't go so well. Um, this just people just high. You know, it's too hard to see people. You know, it's not like in a bunker where you know it's kind of obvious. They're like hiding behind grass and. Just, there's just too many, too much clutter. So, my last attempt, I actually took the uh, Ursa, and I did pretty well. I made the mistake of getting out of the vehicle, thinking that everybody was inside the bunker or inside the reclaimer, you know. And of course, they weren't. One of them wasn't, and I walked right past him. He shot me. So, that was a mistake. So this, but also I, I noticed that the um, Badgers. It was hard to kill people with the badger. Um, like I'd shoot them, I'd say, "Oh yeah, they're dead," and then they get back up again. And I think it's because I didn't really hit them. I like hit the ground around them, and that knocked them down. And um, 
So, I mean, eventually I did them, but it would take a couple tries. Now, one person who was watching the video suggested uh, that I run them over, <laughs> which I kind of thought of after the fact. And I kind of wish I'd tried that, but I don't know. I don't know how that would have gone. And a lot of times the guys were like standing right next to a wall or something. I don't know how. I don't know how that would have worked, but I'll definitely give that a try next time. But anyway, uh, my next attempt was going to be with this guy, and we were literally just landing uh, by Ghost Hollow when we got a, I got a 30k, and I was so mad. I was like, God, gosh darn it! So, but I and I woke up on uh, poor Tressler. And, and I thought, well, you know, I guess I'll go do something else. And then I realized, I noticed that the MSR was, I didn't have to claim it. It was, it was, I could retrieve it. And I was like, well, okay, that's nice of them. And I was thinking, well, you know, I really don't want to go through all that hassle flying back down to, um, back down to uh, back down to New Babbage and geez, get it, get the uh, mule back again so instead oh, so then I, I got the MSR I, I retrieved it and lo and behold the uh, mule was still inside and I thought that's awesome let's go try the mission again well guess what wasn't available that mission so, any anything related to Ghost Hollow wasn't available. This one actually was a, uh, a bounty mission at Ghost Hollow. I was like, okay, that's cool. I'll do that. And uh, but it wasn't available. Nothing for Ghost Hollow was available. So I was like, all right, fine. It's like, well, this was my second second thing I was interested in. It was like, how would a mule work for transportation to a uh, to a bunker? Because I've tried, like, the PTV and the Ursa, and the PTV, oh, no. The PTV I had a lot of problems with, mostly because it was at night, really. I don't think it was the PTV's fault, necessarily, but it would get stuck um, on things like trees and rocks and stuff, where it would flip over and I wouldn't be able to ride it. Um, interesting, though. I can write a tank if it flips over. It's, I just can't write the PTV. <laughs> Matter of fact, one time I got stuck in the PTV against a tree. I couldn't get out, and I couldn't get the uh oh, I couldn't get the uh, PTV rated either. So that was unfortunate. But uh, so far, this guy's been doing pretty well. It hasn't flipped over. I mean, I haven't really hit any really horrible terrain, rocky terrain yet, but I've been able to also be able to avoid it. Oh, we'll see, there's some. That's not bad. But yeah, the PTV was constantly flipping over, and the Ursa was okay. I didn't have... Okay, it's Ash. Okay, that's not horrible. I'd like to get there before we at least get there before it gets dark. I wouldn't mind riding back when it gets dark. I like to see what the I like to see what the uh, headlights are like. I'm thinking about headlights because uh, <laughs> even on ships. Okay. Well, I guess we're going this way. All right. Because I hate it when it's dark and I have headlights and the headlights don't work. Yeah, it's like what is the purpose of headlights if you can't see where you're going? Really, like the uh, whoa, RSI uh, Scorpius, horrible headlights, unbelievably bad. I just, they don't even work. I, I think it's actually a bug. But um, but then my Avenger Titan, awesome. They that I practically light up, uh, you know, entire landing pads with that thing when I come down. Same thing with the uh, C2. I have no problems with the... Uh, oh, here we are. No problems with the headlights on those guys. So, I would give this an A. I don't know. Maybe a B. 
because the problem, I guess the, the, I don't know how good a test this was because it really wasn't that bad a terrain. Like I said, I've had really bad terrain before where, um, the PTV just couldn't handle it. And, or the Ursa. Especially on Microtech. They put, sometimes they put these bunkers in the middle of craters. Well, I don't know if they're craters, but like a deep, deep valley, I guess, where it's surrounded on all sides. And good luck trying to get a vehicle down there, because it's like a 45 or, or greater degree uh, incline. Okay. So we'll rip through this real quick, and then we'll see what it's like going back. I'm going to do my usual... Oh, here's something to see. E oh, good. That works. Sometimes the E and the Q key don't work. I don't know why not. It's like I can't, like, tilt to the left or right, which is dumb. Man, when I heard it, when I found out how to do that, I was like, ooh, this is... <laughs> this is awesome. Okay. Oh. Okay, so there are good guys here, too, so I can't shoot the good guys. Gotta be careful. But I'm going to do this my usual. Oh boy, they're pretty active. Maybe the guards will deal with most of it. So it should only take a couple minutes and then we'll see what the... And it'll be dark, I'm sure, when we're heading back. So we'll see what the mule is like. Hello. Ah, oh, come on, really? Jeez. I should have switched guns. Come on back out. Oh, come on. I could have got him. Darn it. Hmm. Oh, jeez. Bear. Yeah, I'm getting a little better about checking my ammo levels. <laughs> I've had a couple instances where I walked in with no ammo and tried to shoot somebody. I was like, yeah, that's not, that's not good. Yep, see, there he comes again. Oh, come on back here, you. And I got um, uh, suppressors on both my guns, so they'll, they'll never hear me. Oops, see, there's a bad guy. Uh. Oop, don't hurt the good guys. I don't know if I got them or not. Let's see him. Usually when I get down to the two guys, I'll start running around, but this is a little, this is a lot safer. <laughs> I tend to get shot when I start running around if there are too many dudes. Oops, here's another one. seen a whole lot of guards left anymore. No, well, must be a couple. Oh, 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 that's not a guy. Six guys left. I, I'm surprised. I 
I hear some footsteps. big fan of C-54s. I don't know. I like them when they have their P-4s. They have, those are good guns. And they have good, uh, they put pretty decent scopes on them. I think they've uh, dumbed down the AI since uh, 3.16. I, I remember when I first started doing bunker missions, as soon as they'd see me, they'd start shooting at me. <laughs> and they would always see me. It's like, if, if I could see them, they could see me, and, and they'd start shooting at die. And, and it was always like, not a flesh wound, you know, like a med pen wouldn't help. I'm, I'm incapacitated, dead in an hour, and it's like, yeah, that's not, that's not good. Come on, guys. Oh, there goes one. They are fast, little buggers. Oh my gosh, four rounds left. Man, I really... Uh... Come on, guys, come on up here. <laughs> All right, jeez. I mm. five guys is just too is so many. Unless they're like standing in corners and, you know, basically not doing anything. I'll just get me killed and I won't be able to test the mule going back. Test that mule, I don't want to die. And this is an evaluation. I mean, good grief, people. Oh, there we go. Ah. There we go. Okay. Ooh, 500 AUEC. Four. Give me one more guy. Then I'll go chase him and chase the others down. Oh, 
Oh, here we go. to deal with four. Kidding me? No. <laughs> ah, he must have came in behind me. Darn it! <sighs> mm. Two guys left. Unbelievable. Good guns, my good armor. <sighs> I can only assume the um I can only assume the, uh, I know what do you call it, um, the elevator opened behind me, I bet, and that's where it came out of. That was dumb of me. Okay, well, I think that was a friendly bunker anyway, so let's go back and see if I can get back in the fight. Hmm. Unbelievable. Armor. I'm oh, understood. I'm sure I'm sure my uh my body will be gone, my good armor will be gone. It'll be I'm stuck with whatever I've got sitting here. <sighs> Great. Um oh my gosh, I don't have a backpack. Oh man. No backpack. That... That's unfortunate. We're going to go buy one. Because I gotta have a backpack. <sighs> okay, so... I guess when they say there are two guys left, they really mean there could be one guy standing in the elevator waiting to shoot you. So don't go stand in front of an elevator. Um, Galleria. So, lesson learned. 
I mean, I could have gone to the, uh, right around the corner there, there was a, I could have just cleared that out, make sure there's nobody in there, and I could have, I probably could have safely hidden back there, maybe? I don't know, maybe there's stuff, maybe people, uh, spawn back there also, but. <sighs> so depressing. So depressing. Where's this going to? No, don't put it there. There. Yeah, we'll take the uh, Avenger Titan nice over. And... You know, though, my ammo is down at New Babbage. I have to go get the ammo. Weapons. I don't know. Do I really want to do a. For two guys, I'm not going to bother with a. Uh, Sniper rifle. I'll just take P4. I'm not even going to bother with a. Uh, well, it's got a scope though. It's got. This must be one of theirs. Yeah, it's one of theirs. Like I said, it's a good gun. I don't think I have a. No. Nah, I'm just going to go without a. Uh, two guys. I don't even care about the suppressor. But I do kind of need ammo. <laughs> oh. How much left in that? Ammo 4. No, I can't do that. Crap. Okay, well, I guess we're gonna go pay a visit to New Babbage. Uh, fortunately, I know a shortcut at New Babbage to. I actually buy ammo and leave it just in stock in the inventory at New Babbage so I can just kind of swing in and pick it up. Welcome to the ASOC Vehicle Retrieval System. Venture Titan. Venture Titan's awesome. I, I love that little ship. Your vehicle has been moved to our storage facility. Vehicle selected. Vehicle selected. Stand by. Stand by. Your vehicle has been delivered to the ASOC If they were all running around with P4s, I might go in just with a empty gun. It just, you know, hope I could find somebody else's, but they're running with a C54, so. I'm going to make a pit stop. I forgot to get uh, med pins. Like it helped me last time. Yeah. Never doing that again. Never hanging out in front of the elevator. Hmm. Stupid security contractor evaluation. Making me look bad. Okay, so if we go down to the commons and your babbage. Is oh, there it is. It'd be awesome if my body was still there and I could actually retrieve all my gear. It's like I said, that was an AO3 uh, sniper rifle. I like those guns. And the P4. And they both had suppressors. And scopes. <sighs> Makes me very sad.
say if I just set my little my little uh, sniper nest there, I'd probably be done already and driving my little mule back to the ship, back to the uh, Mercury Star Runner. That's what we get for not being patient. So I do try to park kind of off to the one side, so if anybody's actually getting a vehicle, they can get right past me. And this is a little ship, so... Shouldn't be a problem. This is actually the, uh, for those of you who don't know, this is actually the surface entrance from the commons. So if you want to like, pick up a vehicle, this is where I actually picked up the, uh... Oh, put the gear down. This is where I picked up the mule from. Mercury Star Runner out here and we're it right in. Yeah, see, I'm really far to the side there. Nobody's, I'm not going to get anybody's way. Everybody should be fine. Okay. Access to inventory from here. Yep. So anyway, as you can see, inventory from New Babbage. I just stock up on uh, whatever I might need. So like, I got my ammo here. So I got 28 clips left. So I'll just take two. There we go. I got uh, 20 uh, clips of, of AO3. So I was like, I was gonna fly down here. I I. Stop in for a minute. Don't even go inside. Actually, usually I do because I need something else like a vehicle or whatever. But I don't actually go to any shops or anything. I just load up. Until the next character reset. And then I'm like, ah, crap. I gotta rebuy all my ammo and restock up. That is cheap, so I don't care. Alright. Let's go see what's going on. Everyone, Calliope. Oops, there we I just don't have to worry about finding uh, the bunker again. I got a marker that takes me right to it. It's called my body. My body, the marker. Alright, and of course now it is dark, which is good. That's what I really wanted anyway, so. Pretty sure there's a friendly bunker since I'm a defender. I guess we'll find out. Right. 
And it looks like the altimeter is working. That's great. I really hate it when it doesn't. Okay, there's the Mercury Star Runner. <laughs> cool. Now, if my body would just be there too. That would be awesome. two kilometers. <laughs> okay, good. And I think I see the, yep. Cool. Okay. Getting blown around. Yeah, a little bit. Jeez. Nose is pitching down. Alright, we're down. Oh, did I forget to put the. Oh, jeez. I forgot to put the landing gear down. I thought it was looking a little low there. I was like, why am I so low to the ground? Eh, it's better. Alright, let's try this again. so cool. Alright. Oh, get out of the way. Good. E and Q are still working. Nobody's here. Stuff back. Yes! Awesome. Awesome. I mean, you know, I don't think the. You know, I can. Oops. Yeah, I mean, I did wear armor. Oh well. But that's better armor. I definitely want my guns back. Nothing else. Okay, I can't. Hmm. I if, can I drive while holding the gun? <laughs> I shouldn't have worn any armor. Oh well. Anyway. Oh, see, there's a P4. Uh, wonder what he has. 
that I might be interested in. Because one thing I learned is you can you can uh, open by right clicking on the armor piece, like here's the core. Open that up and you can see what's inside. And yeah, we'll put that in our backpack. And we'll put that in there too. Usually they only have one thing, like you can also do the same thing with the pants. You can open them up, their legs, but they're usually empty. If, one, if somebody has something in it, it's usually in one piece or the other, it's not in both. Oh, but he's got a uh, med pen. I'll take that. And then let's store it. Oh, his ammo. I'll take his ammo. Yeah, we'll do some minor looting. Whatever I can fit in my backpack, I guess. There's the other guy. Shotgun, I don't like shotguns. I mean, I guess I could sell them, but. Yeah, I'm gonna put that on my bod. There we go. And again, open up his armor. See if he's got, see if anything. Uh, what's that? That's, oh, that's a magazine for a. That's not gonna have, uh, I don't care about that. Yeah, I'll take a med pen. We'll take that. Take that. And let's see what you have in your. And as for his pistol, or maybe not a pistol. Yeah, we'll take that, sure. Hmm. Let's go downstairs real quick. No! Oh my god! Oh, you gotta be kidding me! Oh! Star Citizen has stopped running unexpectedly. This is like the second time tonight. I shouldn't have gotten greedy. I should have just popped in the uh, mule and Head to town. The good thing is that I noticed that when I do come back, I'll wake up in Port Trestler and I'll have my gear with me at least. I don't know if I'll have the gun I'm carrying though, which of course is my sniper rifle. Ah, oh, that makes me so mad. Ugh. Oh. Well, at least I completed the mission. Help get my rep up a little higher, and I mean, you know, it, 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 this is just because of the uh, uh, my uh, the, the uh, reset that we just went through. I had to go around and and do all the evaluations again, so it's for my rep to go up so I can start getting paid more. Unbelievable. Let's see where it puts me. Puts him back in Trassler, then we're done for the night. <laughs> it's, I'm not gonna. Of course, obviously the vehicle's gone. And I can't. So, but I I liked it. I thought it, it performed very well. I was just very. I really wanted to see what the uh, headlights were gonna be like and how it was gonna be like driving back uh, to the uh, uh, to the micro uh, the Mercury Star Runner. But I guess now we'll never know. 
stupid star citizen. Yep, yeah, wake up on Port Trestler. Let's see what I got. Uh, I don't have, I'm not holding on to my sniper rifle. Hmm, do I at least have my P4? Yep, I do. Okay, well, oops. Small consolation, I guess. Darn it. Oh well. Okay, well thanks for watching everybody. Um, that was my my test for the uh, mule as a transport for getting to bunkers. Uh, like I said, I think it'll be a lot more useful in 3.18 when we're able to carry a one SCU box in the back of that thing. That'll be that'll be awesome. I, I love how it turns. I didn't flip over once, although there weren't a, there weren't a whole lot of opportunities to flip over. But I felt it handled better than the uh, PTV. Um, and if, if it had inventory, I, which I mean, it wouldn't make sense for it too, because you can't walk around inside it. So, but if it had inventory, that would be, that would be awesome. That would be so nice. But uh, like the Ursa does. But um, yeah. So we'll see what happens in three point one eight. Hopefully, I'll be in the P, I'll be in the PTU pretty soon for that, and we'll be able to start, start seeing what we're going to be getting out of that. So, anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, have a nice day, and scratch that out. <laughs>